Well, this is definitely one of them projects you just wish you never started. But more wet and dry. As you can see, it looks a stink. But believe it or not, that is nice and smooth. Better than when it was first made. Oh, more sand in. So I've just finished wet and drying um, the boat. I'm just going to show you what I've done. Um, I've basically filled the on and off switch hole. All this was doing really was just letting water in. Um, there's obviously a little hole there that I've filled and smooth flush. And where the aerial comes out of, I've obviously smoothed that over as well. Because um, the aerial is just going to stay in here. So that will be fine. And there's, there's another little hole that side. I give the bottom a little bit of a sand. Um, just to smooth that off a little bit. I ain't gone crazy. Because it is only at the bottom of the boat. And at the front. So it is now paint time. So I've just sprayed the hull. Um, I am just using some um, Ford Graphite Grey. Um, so this actually looks really nice. The camera's not picking it up very well. Um, you know, I'm not doing a professional spray on this. It's, it's only a remote control boat at the end of the day. But um, so I'm just going to do a couple of more sprays on the top okay so I just finished doing the uh, two tone paint job and I'm quite happy with that it looks nice and sharp um, so yeah I just thought I'd just do a quick video to show you how the um, paint job I've got a bit of overspray on this side there like as you can see I'm hopefully gonna try and wet and dry that off but um, as for this line, it's nice and perfect. Um, so yeah, just needs a nice clear coat now. Now putting the clear coat on, as you can see, it's looking really nice. The um, two tone here is nice and nice and perfect. My camera's not freaking out there. You got a nice solid line. Um, all the way around, um, nice and perfect. Now, uh, I managed to get a bit of that overspray off there by putting a bit of uh, nail varnish remover on it and quickly wiping it off and then neutralizing it with a bit of water. Um, so, yeah, and I've got the top canopy, um, I'll just get it now. And here's the top canopy looking nice and shiny. This is still a little bit wet got to be careful so I'm thinking obviously the boat's upside down now but uh, that should give a nice two-tone finish I don't know um, so yeah So I've just got it all balanced nice and perfectly. Um, so this is sort of the setup now. Basically I just put some um, body filler under there, lined the motors up perfect, waited till the body filler set um, with some bolts in the body filler and then put these on with the nuts and bolts. Um, some thermal paste in between. Um, I also did some little cl couplers there that just stops. Um, if you can see it, the motors on the other side as well. Um, 
ESCs there. Um, battery nice in, receiver and antenna. So we'll just give this a go now. Turn the uh, first. Oh, just have to select the right model. tie this actually to where uh So yeah, I think it's safe to say it's got enough power. <laughs> oh god. It's drenched. Um, so yeah, these ECS do get warm. Um, <sighs> so I'm going to do something about that. I mean, really, these are meant to be water cold, but I'm trying to just do this. The motors are alright at the minute, then they're still nice and and cod. Um, so, I mean, the balance is right. Um, you know, um, both propellers are going in the right orientation. I've disabled reverse because reverse just this screws these um, propellers off. The propellers unscrew themselves. Um, everything else works. Um, I basically, oh, I can't see in there because it's too dark, but, um, <laughs> as you can see that, it's got some, oh, it's got quite a bit of power there. Um, So what I have done is I've actually just glued a laptop um, CPU cooler in there and it sort of directs over the top of those heat sinks so it blows the air across them. Um, I'm hoping that keeps them cool enough and um, well to get a bit of uh, more run time because obviously these are getting hot. Last time I did this at full speed for quite a while, um, there was a bit of smoke coming back there, and I think it's because of these. Um, I have upgraded this. This is solid copper wire um, going to both both of them. So I'll just pop this on top of here. Uh, this just for now plugs into into there. You can sort of see there. And uh, there's a little switch tin on. Uh, I'm going to have to do this. Um, let's put my phone down because I need two hands to do this. Okay, so we're uh, top canopies on. Um, I'm just thinking whether to cover these, these little holes up there. But it will let some air go inside there as it's moving forward. So I'll just give this a go anyway. 